Hey everyone, Rykon here with his little sister, his little sister, uh, aka Weaver of Hearts. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we are playing some more costume quest in lieu of the wonderful, wonderful Halloween holiday. I know not everyone celebrates it around the world, but here in the United States, it's pretty big deal, especially here at the uh, Boulder Hat Dude area. You know, I don't even know what to call myself. I've got so many names. Just Rykon, Gil, R Bowler Hat Dude, whatever. I'm pretty big on Halloween. I love it. It's my favorite holiday. Ooh, a fountain. Oh, that's right. Okay, so um, when we last left off, we needed to get, what, cherries or something? Yeah, something for an ingredient. Battle shop. Go after Reynold. Oh, don't look at the tasks that are ahead of us. Just look at... Okay, here's what we need. Statue of Liberty. Oh, yeah, that's an awesome suit. It lets you heal. And you get to set things on fire. So are those maple leaves all laying on the ground? Maybe. Those might be maple leaves, yeah. Possibly. I don't know. We live in such a desolate place. Yeah. Oh, cherries. That's where I gotta get it. Yes! But I need the costume. Yes! How do you get it? Oh, that's right. You need the costume. The Statue of Liberty, right? Yeah. Um. Okay, how do you get the. Uh, uh, well, you got some powerful friends. Oh, right. Okay, so I go through here. Okay, yes, sweet. I need this. The shield. Thank you, Elliot. Sweet! Dun, 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 dun. Costume material. A sheet. Yeah, that's one out of... I don't know how a many. A billion. Yeah. yeah, hey, go talk to this Abe Lincoln kid. Meow. <coughs> Shh, the whole neighborhood to hear. Manifest destiny! <laughs> destiny! Destiny! Um... Oh, oh, I was trying to reference um, Young Frankenstein when uh, Gene Wilder is laying there on the bed going, Destiny, destiny, that's the only way for me. Destiny, destiny. <laughs> oh, yeah. You remember that? Yeah, kind of. Ashamedly, yes. That was such a good movie. When I was a kid, I didn't understand it at all. <laughs> I was like, wow, this is kind of scary, but kind of funny. Yes. Yeah. Rocking that outfit. Mm. Oh, I oh. kind of need the. Liberty doesn't float. <laughs> Liberty doesn't fly. <laughs> Dude, that'd be an awesome like heavy metal album cover. It's got like the Statue of Liberty just kind of like. Liberty. Li of of Labert of Liberty just fl floating face down in the in a in water, and it says <laughs> Liberty doesn't float. It sounded cooler in my head. <laughs> really? I, I did notice. Like blowing air bubble. Now get on in here, you patriotic little <laughs> cinnabons. My costume is made in China. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> we won't. We won't hold it against Hey, you. this guy's outfit was made in China. Come on, they just lynch him. <laughs> oh my god, he's like, what, six? <laughs> Whoa. That escalated quickly. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what the? Right. Right. Shield. Uh, yeah. Wow, 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 Ha-ha. We, out we outsmarted a, a lesser mammal. A squirrel. <laughs> Freaking squirrel. I'm going to try that again, are you? So are you going to get that coffin or what? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to get you a coffin? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, for a second there, it looked like they were holding hands. I was like, oh, that's so adorable. This is your ingredient. Do you happen to notice that it's Halloween tonight? We're sorry, Mrs. Putterpam. <laughs> Putterpam. So is it kind of weird that I have a, uh, a, a sketch of Bilbo Baggins just hanging here on my wall next to my computer? <laughs> No, he's a very inspiring man. He is. He went on a journey of self-discovery. When he was 50. 
That's like what, 15 in his time? Not that old. No, it's not that old for a hobbit. For us, it'd be like middle age. Oh, well, no, um, more like a early adulthood for hobbits. Frodo, get my cane. And the off chance I might need it, my wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that would uh, hobbit without legs. <laughs> oh, a a a rounding journey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that'd be terrible. <laughs> Thorin, Thorin, my friend, I'm on my way. <laughs> How's it feel, Bilbo, to watch your friends die? I will soon join them. And get used to it. <laughs> the, the Hobbit. <laughs> A journey on wheels. An, an unexpected cup of prunes. Oh <laughs> uh, no, don't forget my medicine. And possibly my coffin. You may need to bring me home in it. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm not gonna lie. I may poop myself. <laughs> Frodo, Frodo, you gotta change me again. Oh God, Uncle! I didn't ask you to be this way. <laughs> you get super angry. Yeah, yeah. Fro Fro Frodo pulls a uh, an Adam Jensen. He's like, I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for any of this. Well, you know what, you ungrateful shit. I didn't ask to be this way. Frodo. Your parents, your parents drowned themselves when they found out you were a loser. <laughs> Legolas, you're the best. <laughs> Find me some prune juice. Oh my god, okay, alternate, alternate reality universe. Oh my god. It's Bilbo Baggins is actually like this old dude in a retirement home and, and the people going on this journey with him are like, are like the, uh, the different the shift caretakers <laughs> like legolas is like the young uh, is like the young long-haired punk kid <laughs> who oh tries God. to take who, who does like the morning shifts and stuff uh, legolas, <laughs> what do your young eyes see <laughs> <laughs> well looks like more jello for you mr baggins yes i was hoping this was the outcome and it's like Rivendello or something like that. Riven, no, Rivendello. Rivendello! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> and he has like a sculpture that he named Thorin. And when it falls off the shelf and breaks, he excuses it for like a dwarf. No, fucking troll killing him. <laughs> Thorin, my friend, we had a good run. I was sad to see you go. <laughs> it's like the Lonely Mountain is, is the centerpiece for his train table that he's working on. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Battle of Five Armies is actually just like an ant infestation. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have left that sandwich there. I love how you can't say sandwich properly. Shut up. <laughs> Do the best I can! Dang it! Just do the best you can! It is sandwich! <laughs> Shut up, you ass! I'm not gonna talk to you anymore! Say balloon. Whoa, Lady Liberty was pissed! Stop on me now! <laughs> Making all kinds of Lord of the Rings jokes today. That's kind of Halloween. Pretty scary to watch. Oh, that's the next thing we need to play. We need to do Shadow of Mordor. In the land of Mordor. Shadow of Mordor. Well. Even the smallest cloud was snoozing here. <laughs> In the darkest depths of Mordor, I met a girl so fair. But Gollum, an evil one, 
crept up and slipped away with her. Her, her, yeah. Led Zeppelin. Okay. You haven't heard that song by Led Zeppelin? Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> anyway, speaking of songs about Lord of the Rings, we came across the freaking hysterical one. Did we? Yeah, the one with Gollum. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, by Brotherhood Workshop. Yes. Um, I should probably put a link for that in the description. Please do. We can all sing along, sing along, sing along later. <laughs> I guess I guess it's a cover of a Justin Bieber. Yeah, if anyone's ever heard the baby. Oh god, baby. I was trying to I was trying to say his name correctly, but Justin I ended Justin Bieber. But I ended up saying Bieber anyway. <laughs> you know what? When I was like in elementary or like middle school, we made the joke like Justin Bieber never had a wiener. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> but no, you should totally check it out, everyone. It's hysterical. It's a sing along, so you don't feel left out. <laughs> But it's 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 uh it's a cover, but Gollum is singing it. It's really bad. But it's really yeah, it's, it's wow. It's it's on another level. It's it's one of those humorous ones. that's like you need to see it at least once. Yeah. But anyways, I do actually have a Justin Bieber story, and it kind of coincides with um. Well, I mean, it was it was bloody cold when I was when this happened, so it was kind of Halloween. But anyways, I was working on this uh show in Las Vegas, New Mexico. Yeah. Okay. We were downtown and there's this park, right? And we're sh we're, sh uh, we're filming in this building across the street. And uh, about lunchtime, this kind of like really creepy kid shows up. And he's just lurking there by the trees, just hanging out. I'm like, what the hell is this guy's doing? Because, you know, it was kind of my job to kind of keep the uh, the area secure a little yeah. bit and then um, and then like s all these like teenage girls start showing up at about when is when is school let out like 10 minutes after school lets out in the town like all these girls start showing up and they're texting and I'm like what the fuck is going on and then like more kids start showing up these little tweenies and they're running through the shot in front of the camera, oh and they're screaming God. at me over the radio. It's like, locations, what's up with all of these kids? And uh, it turned, and it's like, eventually the whole park just fills up with like this oh crowd. Like I think like every teenage girl within 20 miles of that oh. town was in this park. Oh, and they're just like squealing whenever this one dude would walk out. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? And apparently, someone started the rumor that Justin Bieber was shooting a music video. And that's not what we were doing. We were actually shooting the pilot for Longmire. And, uh, we. You dumb fuck. And so it was just like, it was like this massive security issue. And it was well, a safety gee, issue, yeah. too, because there's just like hundreds of these of little teeny hormonal. boppers running. Little children running around who have and, no self-control. And, and I think where the mistake came from was we had a uh, behind-the-scenes crew there interviewing people that day. And the interviewer was kind of boyish looking. And he kind of looked like Justin Bieber, oh, I guess. Oh, poor child. And whenever he would walk out of the building, it's like, it, no, it got it got to where we, uh, we ended up taking him out of the back of a building... And putting him into one of the vans to get him back to his car, because they were just, they were just like, we love you, Justin Bieber. He's like, no, I'm not Justin Bieber. <laughs> and they didn't believe us when we didn't, when we told them that he wasn't there. And then, so, uh. so then that crowd st starts to kind of die down a little bit. But then, because you've got all these these ladies, these little girls running around, then someone, another rumor got started, I guess, amongst the dudes that, um. Oh, what's what's that chick from Transformers? Megan Fox was there. So then they start driving their cars around, their little ro low riders, and their oh god, it was just a total total disaster. Oh. They're yelling at me over the radio. Oh, come here! You're not doing anything about this. It's like I can't do anything about this. What am I gonna? What, what are you gonna do? Okay, people have raging hormones, and when they're out of control, they're out of control. They they yes. There is no... So anyway, that's my Justin Bieber story. 
<laughs> Even though it didn't have anything to do with Justin Bieber, really. Well, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't say that. Hey, when did you get the gate open? A while ago, when you were telling your story. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. I'm just like over here. Yeah, man. It was, it was crazy times. Crazy, crazy times. Yeah. Well, like it just goes to show that people don't believe anything. Yeah, no rumors get started like... Like wildfire. Wild, yeah. Actually, no, what was cool is uh, I got to work with Katie Sackoff on that one. Man. She is a, an amazing... So is the guy that played Longmire, too. But God, that was years ago. Yeah, I, I, I helped you the pilot, and I haven't worked on any of the episodes ever since. There's actually, there's a couple uh, reasons for that, buddy. <laughs> One, because that show is hard as shit to work on. They are all over the place. That's actually the main reason. Yeah. But anyway, I'm glad that I, I worked on the pilot and, you know, it took off. God, Lady Liberty looks so pissed off. Taste the sweet scent of freedom! Abraham Lincoln and an eagle! Boosh! So patriotic and hopes. Who's doged? Oh, dodged. Doged. Who is doged? I don't know! Much wow. Mini fist. Mini fist appearing! Candy much? Uh, duh. Did I die? Yes, I did. Dang it! Oh no! That's okay, you got it. Is her, is, is her name Ren? Is that how you pronounce it? Creepy treats! Chocolate carrot. That actually looks good. I would not mind you. Oh my god. Um, the other night when I was at my, uh, uh, the Dungeons and Dragons with my friends. Um, uh, Cody, I probably, should, I don't know if I should say his name. Yeah, I'll say his name. His wife made the most amazing, um, carrot souffle. I oh, yeah, you tell me about that. I've ever had. It sounds delicious. I've, I want, I, I want I, some. I've, I've ever had. I mean, it's the only carrot souffle I've ever had, but God, it was amazing. It had, like, the texture of flan. But it was sweet, and it was just, it was, it was just deliciousness embodied on Kill the plate. Kill deliciousness! I mean, I can't give a more glowing, um, description of what it is. It's like, if she, if she ever hears this, I, I hope, I hope, I hope that she knows that it was, like, phenomenal. Phenomena. Phenomena. <laughs> so what else do we need to do here? You've given the ingredient to the person. Are you still looking for that card, right? Yeah, I was. Yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Have we done have, have we gotten everything done in this area? I think so. Okay. I'm in the graveyard. So. Well next to, next time on uh Backseat Gamers. Lady Liberty is gonna put the smack down on you bitches! Click like, subscribe, do whatever it is that you do! Patriotism! Woo! Uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to go. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, okay. It's good. It's all all right, right. Well, Don't I'm die done. on this one. I'm done for the day, I don't know.